Um, so Noreen, great to see you uh, this morning. And I know you're on the way to a Bridget conference today. So you're you're um, full time on Bridget at the moment. Full time, just becoming Bridget there and <laughs> putting on the mantle there of her legacy, which is very exciting. You know, every time I go back to Bridget, I see more and more, you know, how she has so much to say to us today. You know, just as that pre-Christian goddess, the triple goddess, which are all very powerful healing. And my goodness, our troubled world needs healing at this moment. And so she's there. She That was the thing to heal the wounds, turn back the streams of war was her big um, motto, I suppose. Turn back the streams of war. So we certainly need that today, you know. Mm -hmm. And then Smithscraft has all to do with changing ourselves. You know, when you add fire to something, which is what the Smith does, changing, molding things. Um, so it's an opportunity for us to mold ourselves into better beings for the next uh, year. And then, of course, poetry, mm -hmm. which you know an awful lot about because you're dealing with the imaginal, the imagination world when you're writing, when you're writing poetry, when you're writing anything, you know. So she's a great uh, emblem for us to release our imagination at this time, you know. And then she's, you know, a woman. I think it's very interesting too, Grania, that on this St. Bridget's Day, we're celebrating it on a Wednesday. And now Wednesday is traditionally known as Bridget's Day because mm -hmm. that's the day she was born on and the day she died on, and the day she was consecrated on. So Wednesday, every Wednesday, I always think of Bridget myself. So it's amazing that this first time that we're celebrating it at, with a bank holiday in Ireland, that it's actually on a on a um, Wednesday. But what about you? What inspires you? Yeah, so I mean, just as you were speaking there, so one thing that I really think is interesting is that she was kind of a very like multifaceted woman. So um you know, I think sometimes we have this idea of like the mod, the like, you know, the old idea of a woman and the new idea of woman and all of that kind of thing. But I think she just kind of shows us that there was always like very multifaceted women like throughout time. And she had like so many talents and so many ways that she was impacting on the world. But I also just think I think it is like I almost feel like we were just talking about there's so much on for Bridget. But I think it is really exciting and really huge that this holiday has come about because I think it's just like acknowledgement. So like acknowledgement of like the of women in history and it's just kind of something that in in quite a big way I think like turns the tide of that sort of you know um where people where in the past maybe women were left out of the history or were written out so I think it is you know like I almost feel like you can't overstate it like I think it is massive that we're that we're doing this yeah yeah it is just great and at this time of involve too you know that, that's the message of nature all around us to awaken to new life and to leave the darkness behind not that you can ever leave the darkness behind we're always balancing between the darkness and the light but it is the time for doing that and you know there is so much um to inspire us really with yeah and I think it was what you're saying there on the sort of like the like kind of like new starts at involve because we were both talking about like you know our lives are always changing and there's always like new chapters opening yeah. and I think that's kind of what we'd like to do by like gathering people on Tuesday night is sort of to like bring everyone together to celebrate this but also to kind of like to kind of like inspire that idea of we're always changing we're always transforming sometimes we're transforming because of you know like a pressure that we feel is coming externally but sometimes we're just transforming because it's like a new like a new season for us. Lovely. I think that's so important that this is not a lecture that you're going to come to or it's not about yoga per se, but it is about inspiring you to uh, a new beginning, you know, and to consider Bridget as this contemporary figure, as this woman, as this pre-Christian goddess, Christian saint, and now, you know, an inspiration for the new spirituality that's emerging in the church now that the church has crumbled. So, you know, people are not going to be going to mass on St. Bridget's Day necessarily anymore, um, but it is bringing that image and what we can. And that's what we'd be trying to inspire you to do as well. And 